What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Mod Craft Source. Um, yes, I am getting ready to go back over to the, uh, the new house, just to uh, show you what it's looking like right now. Nothing special, but before I go, I want to build a couple of these travel anchors. And for that, I'm going to need... Uh, eight iron. I'm also going to need two ender pearls, and I'm going to need two diamonds. I'm also going to need um, the metallurgic infuser. You know what? I don't use you that much. You can go in here for now. Is the metallurgic still getting used? Yeah, you do have a power tap at the back. Let's just chuck a couple of those in there, and no, it's not the metallurgic confuser. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm thinking completely the wrong bloody mod. Those in there. It's not the metallurgic confuser I need. I was thinking I'm making an alloy. I need the metallurgic confuser. No, it's actually the alloy smelter I need. And um, well, excuse me. I'm sorry. Did I did I ask? Please jump out of my hand. I think, yeah, I need to cook an iron and an ender pearl. Well, I need to cook two of them, and they're going to take a second. So what we're making here is pulsating iron ingots. And they can be used for, oh, advanced photovoltaic cells. They have basically three uses. And then you, uh, it's the nuggets that we want. And the nuggets can be used to make item conduits, which we haven't touched on yet, but we will later. And the pulsating crystal. And the pulsating crystal is what we need. Let it go. Did you automatically dump your output somewhere? Push. Yes, you are set to push into here. Okay. There it is. I got worried when I didn't see it. Come on, cook up, cook up. Yes, thank you. Huh, I can actually take the item out myself and get experience for it. So we need to take these nuggets and put them like that with diamond to make the pulsating crystal. And then we just need four binders and some iron. Uh, that should be that. And I think this is ro this is the wrong way, isn't it? It's, I always do it wrong. I don't even know how. I looked at the recipe like 30 seconds ago. So if we take one of these and place it, say, right here in the floor, it lights up when you stand on it. That's nothing special. I mean, if we look at it and you see, allows teleportation between anchors. And if we place another anchor out here, uh, when you stand on it, the block lights up through uh, any blocks that are in the way, and then you just simply jump and it takes you to the next one. So this is how I'm planning on uh, moving back and forth until I actually get you know something real built. I don't know what the range on this thing is so I'm just gonna keep plopping it down and checking. Really? Is its range dead already? No. Okay yeah. Maybe it's just a bit awkward about where you stand on it. I don't see the other one popping up. It should be over there. Shouldn't it? Yeah, it is over there. It's, it's down a bit more. Okay. It seems to be very, very finicky about actually popping up. Oh man, this I don't make, I don't I might I think this might not actually work. That's disappointing. Like if I put it down here. I'd have a closer. So when you when you stand on it, they light up like no one's fucking business. These things better have not had their range nerfed to like 20 blocks. See, it's right over there, and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it from here. I'm not seeing it from here. Oh my. 
my god. Okay, so... I was going to use these. Destinations out of range. But their maximum range is... In fact, let's work this out exactly what their maximum range is. If we stand here, call that range, put that on there, their maximum range is 46 meters, just about. Oh, that's not even worth using. Damn it, I can use these for some other stuff, though. Um, that's kind of a fucker. I was really planning on using these. Because I like them. I suppose I could use them instead of something else until I get more resources. Because these things are fucking expensive. So I'm definitely going to make use of them in some way or another right now. Um, I was going to use elevators for something, but I suppose I can just use uh, these instead. Um, yeah, because I mean, elevators only allow you to go straight up and straight down. And I could go over to the side. There's my house. Off in the distance. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ooh, yeah, I like it. I like the look of that as the uh, as the walls. They look nice. It looks like a more serious version of the floor. So right now we just have a large open room, and I was planning on something. Um. Hmm. See, what I'm planning on is eventually going to change when I get access to new materials. But this is the glass I'm planning on using. And uh, let's see, this would be about halfway. Yeah. So if I just bring this out, three, four, five. Wait, it's still actually just glass, so it does shatter. Um, what is this? It's 13 by 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the middle. So, the middle would be a 3 by 3 of this glass, but this is going to change. I'm just using this because it. I like, I like the way it looks with the outside. I mean, I prefer it if the insides were a little clearer, but I'm going to change what this is later, and then I would probably have the travel anchor or thing here and I suppose the up to the next floor teleportation just there like that might want to move it away from the wall a little bit but something like that in fact if we just grab a bit more wall let's see because there's going to be floor here. <laughs> it's nice being able to move like that. Not all that useful sometimes. See, last time I played with these they had an, a near infinite range. Their range was basically however far your render distance was. You could view them the entire way. So they were a lot more useful because because of that. So yeah, I'm going to build something up here, I haven't really decided what yet, and then I want to build something outwards as well, which is going to be functional and hopefully look half decent. Um, so if I did this on each of the corners, give you a rough idea of what I'm going for here. Is that another slime island? Mm, no, that might be the same one I was looking at earlier. So basically what I'm building, because um, it's an open plan house, you always need to worry about spiders. And uh, this is going to look, hopefully this is going to look decent and act as a spider catcher. Uh, I do need to break into a mod which I have never touched though because I have an idea for this. 
In fact, in the corners here, I would like these to go out even more, just to be more pronounced. Just so, because everyone likes to feel like they live in a castle sometimes, don't they? So I'm going to build my turrets like that, and then I've got these little areas at the side. I like that. Not mean to break the bottom one. Like that. So, yeah, then we have these areas over the side here. And um, this is already, I believe, spider proof. But I want to make it uh, look a little better. God damn it. Right, let's do that. Break that one away. I keep forgetting these blocks are only made of cobble. So, it's totally okay to waste them because they are just cobblestone. I need that there, and that there. It's very disappointing that I'm not going to be able to travel back and forth to the house as easily as I would like. I could use a different mod to do that, but I'm not sure what sort of power I would need for it. Um, as you can tell, I'm focusing quite heavily on mechanism and because of all the duplication and stuff. And Mechanism has a really nice um, personal teleporter, which allows you to teleport. If you hadn't guessed by the name. So I want to have this a couple layers thick at least. Um, let's see, if that's like that, then it's three. I want it to be four, ideally. Ah, that is not the same cobblestone chisel. Listen to me, this is not the same cobblestone. That is two, three, four. It's times like this I really wish I had a builder's wand. Oh. But that's the thing, the builder's wand is like, uh, four. Really powerful and not exactly cheap to get hold of and if you're only building your base once you've already got hold of a builder's wand then something has probably gone wrong I mean by all means use it to put additions and stuff on your base or build new areas like a part of the base that you saved for building another time because you knew how long and arduous it was going to be but I mean it's not that hard to survive, it's just... It seems like it should be more endgame than it is, to be honest. It's not actually all that endgame. I mean, all you need is the enchanting table and to find a divsage somewhere. Hmm, I'm thinking about something special connecting the stone to the glass. Let's take a look in our chisel and see what we can do. Like, we have some cobblestone, so let's see. Mm. Creeper cobble, cobble with panel. What about, try some cobble with panel and some cobble with light panel. So let's see, this looks... Uh, it doesn't connect though, that's the thing. Oh, this does connect. This is cobble with panel. I like that. That's uh it's very dark though. Is there any problem with that? It is very dark. But that's okay because uh I have a plan for what I'm doing inside the house. Uh, that plan won't work yet, though. Um, I have a lot of stuff I still need to actually get my hands on, just to make the uh, the house work. Uh, let's see. I want to put um one, two, three, four in. Uh, one, two, three. For now, I'm just going to have to put some torches on the floor. I'm not too happy about that. Uh, but my uh, two, three my eventual plan will solve that problem, so that's okay. 
Uh, let's just check upstairs. And I'm going to need to put some torches around. Probably like one in the middle as well. One there and there. And I'll just put one there because I like to. Uh, this would be the middle here. Bonka, bonka, bonka. Yeah, I, it was a very good idea to build this with a uh, on an odd number so I could have a center. Because not building on an odd number is just something that is really hard for me to do. Even with the shit that I normally build, just like the ugly stuff, not having a defined center is absolutely horrible. So yeah, this is um, actually coming together as the base, like uh, sort of how I envisioned it already. So it's starting to look nice. I may rethink these walls, but that's okay because I will be able to change them out very easily soon. I'm busy. Rude bastard. Oh, that is a creeper. I thought so. It looked a bit like a peck for a minute there, and I was like, what? Well, that's no, a creeper. <coughs> so, yeah, we have our roof, and then we have our main building. What I'm thinking is, um, I want, like, a whole awesome stuff of ore processing down there. And, um, I'm gonna have other stuff built in later. I have some stuff planned, and then, uh,. Yeah, what I should do now is look at the um, Enderman with a dinosaur. I want your hat. Get over here. Give me your hat. Come here. I want your hat. Give me your fucking hat. Thank you. Um, wow. Wow. That's a hell of a creeper head. Um, hang on. Mr. Creeper. Nice. Very nice. Cute ocelot. T-Rex. Yeah. Rawr. Sheep. No, horse. Horse. Rawr. Oh my god, no! No, the T-Rex killed the horse. Bad T-Rex. Bad T-Rex. Boom, boom, boom. Bad boy. Bad boy. Eat wall. Eat wall, T-Rex. Oh, no. <gasps> He's a ghost. <laughs> oh, I know the hat mod is like one of those... It's... See, I, I don't know how I feel about it sometimes. Because I know it's sort of stupid, but I also know that it's really cool. And I love it and don't see the point of it at the same time. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, what are we doing next? Now we have a basic foundation for an actual house house built. I need a way of getting over here quicker. Um, and home as well. Because, I mean, I don't have any speedy travel items right now. Um, I'm going to see what it takes to build some sort of uh, teleporter and what it needs in the way of energy. Oh, come on, Creeper, you could have at least exploded and given me a boost. Give me a little, uh, little push. I should really look into something to make me run faster. It's really hard to find something that lets you move faster and jump higher, but doesn't give you step up. And right now, I'm not a huge fan of step up. I prefer just, like, speed and, uh, jump. Because everyone loves higher jumps. Uh, actually, I know where I can get speed and higher jump. Ooh, that might be... No, I couldn't. Not this early. Although, I could. And it could be fun. Sorry, I'm debating with myself about a mod to use. Now, let's look at... Teleport. There is a teleporter in Mechanism. Teleporter, teleport frame. I'm not sure how big you need to build the thing, to be honest. Um, capable of... of fuck's sake. Always click off of your search bar. Teleporting players to various locations defined by another teleporter. And you can build a personal uh, portable teleporter here which allows you to teleport back to your teleporter no matter where you are. 
Charm of Last Resort teleports 12 blocks away from the finishing hit with a cooldown 10 seconds. Wow. That seems very powerful. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but it seems very powerful. So, uh, ooh. Teleporters are going to take Refined Obsidian. That's a lot of diamonds that I don't have. Now, there's one more thing we could look at, because... I was looking at a way of automated mining, and I came across something that uh, might work, but I'm not sure what it costs to make. It's going to cost two atomic alloys, so that's some diamond right there. Teleporters, which is more diamond. I might actually just have to do some actual mining uh, and get some stuff, but uh, it looks like there's no super easy way for me to get all my stuff... Um, from this base to the other, um, no, let me build a knapsack would definitely help. Uh, two tough iron rods and a gold ingot. Iron, iron, iron. I can do that, because I still have this set up up here. Yay. Tough rods, tough rods. Up there, right. Um, I'm thinking the best way to move all my stuff is going to be uh, just as simply make everything, uh, put everything in chests and move the chests with dollies. And I mean, I don't mind building a few dollies, I always end up using dollies like very frequently. And with, at the rate I'm losing stuff, making a few dollies could be a very useful thing. It could be very viable, because I'm just losing fucking everything lately. And they're not even that expensive, you know? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dollies. Sorry, I look like I'm on fucking Sesame Street or something. Stuff. Actually, bowls don't go in there. Bowls go in foodie. Food chest. Along with that. Uh, I need some leather to build this. I don't actually have a... I don't actually have a mob drops chest, which I find strange. I have a nature chest. Leather, leather, leather. Nope, sorry about all this opening. That's three leather. Come on, come on, come on. Must have some more. Bollocks. Is there an easy recipe to make it? No? Okay then. This is where we go cow hunting. Wait a minute. I should have some leather. I swear I have some leather. Can I have some leather? Oh, you know what it is? I made a bunch of... I made some books, didn't I? Well, you know what we can do? We can just, um... Uh, no, nothing. I didn't click any buttons. What? No? We can just, uh, we can just go and find some cows. I'm pretty sure there was some over in this icy biome here. Man, that ind indicates how early game I am, that I don't have leather and have to actually go out and find some cows. Especially since there's, I can't just make leather. There's always a way of making it somehow, but I just don't have uh, access to one of the methods. There we go, we have seven, that's enough. Now, there's a couple of easy ways to move lots of items at a time, and I'm going to be using a few of those easy ways. One of them is dollies, obviously, but when you pick up a chest or a barrel with a dolly, uh, it gives you the slowness and weakness I think debuff it gives you a big debuff so that you move extremely slow and that's not a good thing obviously listen to me t speaking like a fucking retard um, yeah that's that's sucks is what that does that absolutely sucks Let me turn that off because for some reason using the NEI search feature just puts way too much strain on my game just starts to lag it seriously. There we go. Now we need a gold. 
<laughs> Gold, fine rods, and a leather. There we go. A knapsack to hold your things. And we can equip the knapsack here, and that now gives us a spare inventory space. Um, that's food. No, that doesn't go in there. That goes in there. And the leather can go in nature wood stuff. Along with that flower. That can go in there. So, um, the stuff we need to move. Uh, first, it would be really nice to move my energy stuff. Can't do that. I might as well take this with me. Uh, I'll bring the crushinator as well. These factories, the Ender IO uh, block, the alloy smelter, that's what it's called. And I'll bring these. And now I can simply just drop all of these into this chest, which will get all of those out of the way and not have to worry about actually carrying them. Uh, I don't know if I can. I can just wrench these. That is really weird. Also, it seems like when you wrench stuff, it travels towards you now. Because I don't have any magnet on. But everything seems to jump towards me just a little bit. Which is superb, actually. So what we have right now is I have my entire energy setup sitting in that chest. Now, apart from these. <laughs> Come on, get up, get up. Gotcha, you bastard. There we go. So yeah, we have my entire energy setup sitting in that chest. And uh, we just take a dolly and do... Bonk, and we now have the entire chest. And the sneaky thing, if you put a dolly in a knapsack, it doesn't count as you carrying it. So you don't have to worry. So we're just going to dolly up a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, we're going to dolly pretty much everything. And this will allow us to move basically all of our chests at once. Um, that one, and then the food chest. And then we can just stick them all in there. And look at that. Fantastic. Now, what else do we actually have around our base? Because I was intentionally not putting down too much stuff so that when it came time to move, I wouldn't, you know, have to spend hours and hours moving everything. And do that. And that will keep its inventory when broken. I feel I should put probably my smeltery in there. Yeah. Smeltery is not too big either. You may notice I kept it small because uh, I was an anticipating the move. So I feel like I've played this pretty smart, not having too much stuff to move. And uh, I, at least that's not how I feel. That, I mean, some of you guys might be like, there's too much stuff to move. This is a big move. But now this isn't a big move. That, and then I want my ranch for that. And then I can put my entire smeltery in here. And then I can pick up my entire smeltery like that, and just do that. And that is my smeltery, all my machines, all of my energy. Um, might as well take these. Can't have to bring the furnaces as well. I would like that, and I would also like that. And of course my bed, that's always going to be a good thing to bring. A couple of crafting stations, they can stay. Um, do I have a spare bed? I probably... Yeah, I've got a spare bed downstairs. So I can bring this, and that's the entire house packed up. That's everything, as far as I can tell. Um, that's, that's the house packed up, guys. We are... We officially don't live here anymore. It's really weird that it was that fast, but yeah, that's done. I mean, we've still got some stuff out here to move. Um, ideally, I'd like these to grow before I move them, and these pretty much are grown. And uh, they break pretty fast, so I can bring these. 
Although really I only need to bring one line of each because I can't place all of them. So I have to just place the bottom ones and wait for them to grow again. Ten. Is that how many there are? I mean, I picked up an extra mallow berry bush. So if I break ten, did one grow? Twelve mallow berry bushes. Am I getting more than one from some of these? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. There should be, by my count. Um, get rid of a torch. I should have a, eleven of each. That seems yeah. That's exactly what I would have planted actually. I'm just going to do this anyway, just to pick up an extra couple of them. Now uh, towards the new home. So yeah, we are currently carrying everything we own are a couple of ender lilies and uh, I'm only leaving those because I would really like for them to, gr uh, to grow because I really need some ender pearls I want to build a lot of stuff and I mean um, I want to use all the various conduits from ender IO and the basic item conduits there's only one type of item conduit uh, and they require the stuff, the um, oh, there's a king slime somewhere. The item conduits require pulsating nuggets from the iron, the pulsating iron. So that's pretty expensive, considering it's just an item conduit. Let me just block the door for now, and here we are home. And then I can just put the bed down, and we can just sleep the night away. Look at that. Ah, lovely! Welcome back to the daytime! And this is our new home. So yeah, I, um, I like it. I think we've got a pretty nice place to live. We've actually got a new vanilla biome over there, which I have never actually, like, seen properly. We've got a lot of stuff to explore around here, a lot of plants to remove and a base to rebuild so I think I'm gonna leave it here for now guys so uh, thanks for watching I've been BTBS this has been Hermit Source Modcraft house moving um, I'm gonna get at least a basic setup running with my machines and probably even like a storage system on one side of the room and I will see you next time peace out